Welcome back, folks. It is a fantastic Friday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump right into the forecast right now as we take a look at those weather headlines. We're looking at temperatures pushing into those upper 90s and those triple digits. Some possible record breaking temperatures are actually just around the corner as we get into well, the weekend, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, pushing to get very close to those. There is a high pressure system currently centered over Colorado, which is what's bringing those drier airs in. That's what's bringing those uh, warmer temperatures in to stick around with us. And that also means those UV rays are up. Definitely wear your sun protection as you're headed out to go to do those weekend activities. Hats, long sleeves, all of that action if you can. And if this, is, this is that high pressure system I was just chatting about. Greatest chance for temperatures over 100 degrees as this flow is pushing on up through the tip of Nevada and through that Utah area directly giving us that flow following through Grand Junction. So the best chance for extreme heat even along that west coast area and closer to that Arizona and Texas border as well. The reason for these increased UV rays is, of course, that increased elevation, decreased ozone, more sunlight every day and longer days because, of course, it is that summertime and dry climate means there's less moisture hanging out with us. So as you're headed out to go do those summer activities, again, wear that sunscreen higher than 30 SPF, reapply every two hours, wear hats, sunglasses, long sleeves, and try and stay in those shady areas during those peak UV hours between 10 and 4 p.m. Even though those are peak UV hours, that does not mean it's cooling on down well into those early evening hours is when it's going to stay on that warmer side of things. Our highs from today, 102 whew, in Grand Junction. We're looking at 95 in Montrose, 107 in Moab. And our almanac will show us just a couple degrees above what we're typically used to as we get into the weekend. 95 and 64 is what we're typically used to. We still don't really have any drought over Colorado right now across the plains we do and pushing up from that New Mexico area and that Texas area. It's going to start boogieing on over that Four Corners region and give them well a little bit of a chance for some drought, some fire danger. So keep that in mind as we get into those weekend days. Our pollen forecast hasn't shifted at all. We're still low on trees. We've got moderate grasses and low weeds and low mold as well. Our dog walking forecast for tomorrow will show us little Miss Roxy, and she's hanging out with me at least for the next couple of days. But please send me a photo of your dog at jsage at carryxtv.com. I would love to feature your furry friend next week. And we'll notice that peak temperature is going to happen in those late afternoon hours tomorrow. That overall setup will show a little bit of some moisture on that front range area moving across the plains, but leaving us again with those dry skies. Six to 10 days out, we're still looking at 50% chance above normal temperatures for about the next week. And nationally, we'll notice Albuquerque, Phoenix, even at 112 and Las Vegas at 108. So 97 is looking pretty okay for us here in the Grand Valley. Tonight, we're going to get down to 65 in Grand Junction, 58 in Montrose. And folks, we'll notice that those evening temperatures, even in the extended forecast, uh, are going to continue to stay in those mid to upper 60s and those 70s. Monday, Tuesday in the 104, 105 area, that's when those possible record breaking temperatures are on the way. Montrose, few degrees cooler, of course, but still a few degrees above what we're typically used to for this seasonal average. So please remember to stay hydrated and wear that sun protection as you're headed out and out.